everybody. Final thoughts, time for Forum Trajanum. And oh, this is the sweet stuff. This is Feld Uncut. This is the pure business. Uh, if you're a Feld fanatic, you have to seek this out because, you know, I, I've enjoyed every game that he has put out over the last few years, but this is like really harkening back to his glory days, back to his Burgundy, uh, Trajan, Macau days, uh, you know, his Luna days. I mean, uh, you know, Merlin is nice, and uh, you know, I mean, all these lighter ones he's been doing over the years. I haven't I haven't actually seen the other one that's coming out this year, Carpe Diem. Don't know anything about that yet, but. This is the stuff. This is what got me hooked on the man. And, oh, it delivers so big. This is a gigantic puzzle to solve, round after round, even though the core decision to make is, right, just which two citizens to pick up based on these cards. These cards tell me two streets to activate, two citizens, and... But that's just the beginning. First, insanely tough decision, which street? Um, because there is so much that goes into long-term and immediate short-term planning based on these uh, Trajan Edict cards that um, make you know how it is you want to develop your city. You can't achieve all of them, so you're going to go for that first one and that third one, you're going to do that second one, you're going to ignore them and really focus on other stuff. All valid, all viable. What street do you go for? First tough choice. But made even tougher if you happen to have some... Um, uh, the. Uh, Oh, not tribunes. I forget the term. Uh, the all... Yeah, the tribunes. The tribunes, because they can let you ignore the street restriction and go wherever you want. That's the first tough choice. Second tough choice. Okay, I've chosen my streets. I've got these tokens. And now I have to give one to you? I don't want to give you either of these. These are both amazing. I want to play these. Or, oh my god, I can't... This one is terrible for me. But it's exactly what you need. I can't give it to you. Am I going to give you this other one that's good for... Oh my god! And that's awesome. That's not something we've seen a lot in Feld games. That kind of direct, uh, you know, interaction between players. This gift giving thing. I mean, kind of reminds me of uh, Notre Dame uh, with the card drafting in that game, which was my introduction to card drafting long before Seven Wonders came along. It is absolutely brilliant. That same kind of ah. Oh! If I give you this, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. But I need this key for my kingdom! Uh, you know, so that's a second tough choice. Which of these do you give? And then eventually, you get another one back from your opponent. And now the third tough choice. I can only activate one of these?! Ah, oh my gosh, I want to activate two! Well, you know what? If you happen to have two tribunes, you could toss them and activate both. But then that means you're at the mercy of the street cards in the next round. But, uh, so, I mean, ultimately I have to pick one of these. And, you know, and there's more to it than just what resources am I getting? Am I going to put uh, more of a noose around my neck? Because now I've got another full-time active citizen that I've got to pay every year. And will I actually get the full use out of him? Never mind the fact that if I do that, that's one less, um, oh, not tribune. Uh, not that it matters, but the, uh, the, the people who get sent back to the forum. Oh, I should probably I can't think of their names. The envoys. Yeah, that's one less envoy you have to send back to Rome to get that power. You better use that power. You better build on that guy's street so that he will give you lots of points, because otherwise, why did you take him? Okay, well then clearly I should throw him away, but I don't need these builders right now. But, oh. If I have um, this, it lets me convert, um, you know, assist. If I happen to get an assistant, then I can get the builder I want, and I can set myself up for the future. So the choice of which of these to use, and then if that weren't enough, I finally chosen now. What building or buildings am I going to build this turn? Am I going to get more civic things? Because, I mean, I barely scratched the surface on this. I mean, all of these different civic buildings give you access to really cool powers, like taking the seats of power, um, you know, or increasing your scoring potential with this bar. Uh, you know, tons and tons of stuff. Really important stuff. Or am I going for those colored buildings to get more of my envoys out there? Because if you get, like, a gigantic... I mean, you can you can get an, uh, a group of envoys, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you get a ton of envoys and you get this scoring track upgraded and all the way to the end, that could be multiple times like 20 points. And you could ignore everything except for that and go for super gigantic paydays. Um, but, I mean, you're giving up a lot to do that because this is a game. You know, a lot of people, I don't understand the, uh, the pejorative point salad. Like, that's a bad thing. Uh, you know, I, I love games that are constantly drip-feeding me, um, you know, rewards. I mean, who doesn't want rewards? I mean, it triggers the dopamine center, the pleasure centers of your brain every time you get a reward and you tick another box. It's like what the entire science of modern video game design is. Point salads are awesome! And then a lot of people say, oh, well, in a point salad, it doesn't matter what I do, because no matter what, I get points. 
Anytime somebody says that, they so fundamentally do not understand what a good point salad game is. Because a good point salad game, yeah, you could do a little bit of everything, or you could focus on two or three things and do amazing stuff. But once you set that plan for yourself, will you be able to pull it off? Because in a game that has such interesting confounding uh, figures like, I'm just going to draw two cards. What will those two cards let me do? Oh my gosh, it's just the just blows the doors open. Um, you know, this game from start to finish is pure agony, but in the best possible way. And again, if you're a Feld fan, uh, if you love Macau as much as Jen and I do, um, if you've played Burgundy as many times as we have, you know what I'm talking about. And oh, this delivers in spades. I love it. Um, I don't know if this, I mean, this has been a really good year for Euros. But uh, this might be my number one of the year. Of course, there's a lot of stuff coming out at Essen. There's a lot I haven't seen yet. But, uh, you know, hey, I'm a dyed-in-the-wool uh, Feld fanatic through and through. I wear that badge proudly. And Forum Trajanum, oh man, it lives up to the pedigree, to the legacy of Mr. Feld. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Forum Trajanum. And that is the rundown, folks. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.